Good morning, everyone. Today we're taking a look at the Cataphract. This is a uh, uh, this is the Ilium Miramets, but you can pretty much do it with uh, whatever uh, Cataphract has this configuration on it. Um, and we are looking at it with the following build: we have a three rack twos and four or uh, four three four one two three carry the two three medium lasers. So um, basically a full loadout. We also have a laser AMS. Uh, the laser AMS has actually become a little bit more efficient. Uh, than the ammo-based AMS. Uh, first of all, it doesn't run out. It does run a little hot, but make sure you don't. It, does, it, it It's not running half as hot as it used to. Uh, so the heat on this thing is one per second. And I think that's, uh, and actually I got it down to 0 .0, minus 0 0.06, so less than one per second. Um, and uh, yeah, it just, it works great. I haven't noticed a heat issue since the patch. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, we have an XL engine on this thing. Yes, it is a heavy with an XL engine. That is fine. The Cataphract is one of the mechs that it does work with pretty well. Um, so I hope you enjoy the two videos coming up of the Cataphract Rack 2 and Medium Laser build. Stay tuned for more. Click that subscribe button and I'll see you on the battlefield. Have a good one. Good morning, everyone. We're in the Cataphract, the Ilya Miramets today. We're taking some Rack 2s and medium lasers out for a run. We have a laser AMS because uh, since the patch is actually, in my opinion, anyway, and various others have seen lots of people talking about it, it is actually more efficient and may actually made the uh, AMS version a little obsolete. Um, now, if you have heat issues, obviously it's not the weapon you'd want. I wouldn't want to put four laser AMSs on a uh, like Corsair 7R, maybe. Uh, um, but otherwise, and maybe you do, I don't know, uh, we'd have to look, look at it and see. And I don't like where I'm at right now, so I'm going to move over to D4. Keep ourselves below the ridge as we rotate into our group. The enemy's going to, those three are not going the right way, Echo 5, or Delta 5 going into Echo 5. They are going to come face first with the enemy and die horribly. I can't see anything in there, so we're going to this. Still not that clear, but it's better than it was. We can make our way around and catch up to the bad big boys. One in Echo 4 anyway. Let's start racking in the back. I want to get on a target here, but... Oh, that, no. I don't know what that did there. I'm gonna rack down a bit. Rack down, rack up. That's the way you do this. Need a target first, that's all. I'm confused. I didn't think he was. Five six, not a win situation right now. Not a winning situation, I should say. Oh, that was a laser egg, I guess.
my rack back. Oh, my rack back. I lost my rack. No, I didn't lose it. I thought it was. Oh, I thought I lost it, but it's just overheated. On, on cycle, I guess you call it. See where he's going here. Oh, good on him. Good on him for what he did there. <laughs> so this play, it obviously, it's going to play out. Well, I, I'm not, not going to say obviously it's going to play out in our favor because a fast moving locust, unless you get his legs bent down, he could just keep shooting and shooting and shooting. He's not that badly damaged. He's only at 77%. Less now, but uh oh, you hit our guys the one you hit him. No, Which targets get a better view on him here. We got a guy with a rack five here. And he's taking damage, but he's fighting, he's fighting like a camp cornered rat. Or a cornered locust in this case. And there we go. I think he gave up because he just stopped. Alright, let's take a look at these numbers here. And it should be pretty decent. Three killing blows, seven kill assists, 585 done, 520 taken, and five components destroyed. We are at a 369, which is second highest in the group and third highest in the match. Hope you enjoyed video number one of the Alien Aerobits with Rax and Meads. Stay tuned for video two. I'll see you in the battlefield. Have a good day. All right, folks, here we go, round two. Atafrakta. Here, take the back road. Target acquired. Target and I got a sound issue again. Hate that. Okay, sorry about that. Lost opportunities and all. Take a little piece out of everything now. Now I gotta move on. They may come for me. <laughs> or send a light after me or something. <clears throat> Get up here. Get some racking and rolling going on. Just need a target. Got a good firing line going on, it looks like. That's uh that's decent. Just too much facing firepower. Had to back away after only a little shooting. But, should be able to rock behind these guys soon. Nope, I thought he was going to be available, but nope. Down. Aye, aye, aye. Got 
I don't like that. We got guys coming across or what? We got a guy behind us, but he's busy. He's engaged, so that's okay. Now they've got a good fire line going on, so that's gonna be interesting. Starting to chase us. Gotta get up here and do something different. Oh god, get the key sniffer in the Oh my god. Seriously? There we go. But anyway, get the back off once in a while, gives the racks a chance to cool, so forth. How you like them apples? Job, I like it, it's a mecca. The only thing you gotta watch for is those low hanging arms. Let's see how this looks. We have four killing blows, six kill assists, three solos, five KMDDs, 829 damage done, 301 taken, and seven components destroyed. Giving us a match score of 556, which is, oh, very nice. Uh, second in the match. So hope you enjoyed these two videos of the Alien Merriments uh, Cataphract, Ractus, and Medium Lasers. Have a good one. See you on the battlefield and click that subscribe button. Join me for videos every day. Take care and I'll talk to you later.